I can forgive you on hearing this because the first act actually is, like yours, I'm actually having a, a really, really bad time at the moment. Um, it's an absolutely true story. Um, I am a financial advisor, and um, I have actually got to go for a disciplinary hearing tomorrow, 8:30 in the morning in Surrey. So I'm going to get up at half past five, um, just to fill you in on it all. Basically, um, we all get a, a work laptop, and uh, we can use it at work and at home. And I was looking at personal stuff on there at home. Uh, <laughs> too untoward. But uh, as the letter says, I've got to go in tomorrow because they found. Um, inappropriate adult material on my laptop. Woo! True story. But, uh, but yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit harsh really because I've never really been into looking at porn to be honest with you. I've never really looked at it for more than five minutes at a time. <laughs> but, uh, they're going to hold that against me. But uh, these guys here, I used to work with a few of them at Northern Rock. How you doing again? Jason and, and Tony here. And uh, Jason used to be really into porn to be honest with you. <laughs> True story. Spontaneous. But big time, probably big time. When I, when I worked with him, he had a phone, you know, on his phone. And he had all this all this stuff on there he's showing me, like Jenna Jameson, Jordan, you know, doing stuff with what's his name, Dane Bowers? <laughs> but he did get a bit go a bit far a bit far. Remember that one with the big deal though in your grand? <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't worry, she's not as big as he is. <laughs> uh, probably won't show you, but yeah. No, um, I don't want to. I don't want to come on here and take the piss out of the audience. You know, I've been taking the piss out of people all my life. It really hasn't gotten anywhere. I was always taking the mick out of the kids at school. Chubby little fat fuck, ugly roving face, Samantha the dirty little snapper. Of course, I got my comeuppance one day when the headmaster caught me doing it. I never teach in a primary school again after that. <laughs> Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna use a magazine now for this next bit of material. The last time I did it, I fucking died big time. But I did it here before that. So guys, just imagine you've never seen it before. I understand. I'm just gonna get it out of the uh, Northern Rock briefcase when I work there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story, right? Um, there's actually a magazine. I did this like people said. Is that actually true? That was in it. It's actually in it, right? It's actually a uh, more magazine. Anyone ever seen it? No. Oh, seen it. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's a story in here that caught my eye when I was at work once, right? It's about a girl called Desiree Davis, right? And she boasts that she has sex 56 times a week. Right, which I thought was a bit too... You're all looking like, fuck's that, isn't it? <laughs> um, sure. But um, I'd like to share this story with you, actually. Um, on page 38, I think it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to read a couple of bits. We'll see how it goes. If you stop laughing, I'll just read one of something else. You can stop laughing at that. Um, no. <laughs> Yeah, this, this girl, right, she's got a boyfriend called John, right, and there's a picture of John with her smiling away, and uh, not really surprising, you might think, but um, apparently she's got a big appetite for sex, right, but when you turn the page over, you do actually realise that sex isn't the only thing she's got a big appetite for, because uh, the guy's at the front of the vouch for me here, she's quite a big girl, <laughs> quite a big girl, uh, nothing wrong with that, wrong with that. Um, but uh, I'm not sure how old she is. It does say Desiree Davis, 25. That could be a Wayne Stones. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's, it's quite easy just to write this off as a, you know, just a shitty story and move on to the next one about a heroin addict. Um, but I thought I'd read a bit more into this, right? Now, she boasts that she has sex, right, eight times a day, right, on average, that's 56 divided by seven, which I would have thought that must be quite hard to keep up, you know, at the best of times, especially when you've got to work, sleep, and probably eat. <laughs> Quite a lot. Now, I don't know, from experience, the average shag lasts, what, about five minutes? I don't know, my memory's not really used to be. But, uh, but so that's, that's 40 minutes a day, right? Which I imagine, you know, must be quite hard to keep up. Um, um, thank you. Um, now, here's a quote from me, actually. I, quite, I, need, I need sex. I need a lot of sex, and uh, so far no man can satisfy me. 
I need sex or to masturbate seven to ten times a day. Which I, it's quite a lot. <laughs> and uh, of course, old John did his best to keep up with her, her boyfriend. Um, but he got a bit too much for her. And she, he couldn't keep up with her. But then one night in bed, he just turned over and went to sleep. Furious, I grabbed the vibrator and left the room. Always a good way to finish an argument. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the page. <laughs> I rehearsed this. <laughs> now, I, I, I can't out down this story, right? It's a bit of a calorie. I like my stats, don't I? Like. Um, right, I once read somewhere that every, every time you have sexual intercourse, you burn off an average of 400 calories, right? Um, so, on average, she must be burning off 3,200 calories a day, right? Um, now, the average daily intake for a woman is 2,000 calories, right? So, uh, so that's a deficit of 1,200 calories a day. Okay. So she must be consuming 5,200 calories a day. That's more than twice her daily recommended intake, just to keep herself at a reasonable size. <laughs> that knows what she's eating. <laughs> she thinks she could buy a tooth. Be lovely. Woman. <laughs> but uh, anyway, she's had to branch into swingers parties, you know, to keep keep herself going and stuff like that. Um, and apparently John, her boyfriend, is happy to see her at these swinging parties, having sex with other men. So would you, though, if you had a bird like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> there you go, I'll pull your boots. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've, had, I've been single for a long time. I look a shock on your fucking faces. Uh, but uh, I thought I'd better do something about it, because it's been going on a long bloody time. I've got a lovely haircut. Look at this, look. Five pounds. <laughs> And I'll for my, uh, my disciplinary hearing tomorrow. We'll go on to that in a minute. Um, uh, what was I talking about again? Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the single thing, being single. Um, yeah, I was um, been single for a long time, so I thought I'd do something about it. So I, I thought I'd get into internet dating. Right, has, anyone here, has anyone here done that or do it at the moment? No? No, no one admits it? Because my mate Mark doesn't need to do that sort of thing. He just shows prostitutes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but uh, it, yeah, because I thought I'd better, you know, better do something about it, right? And I, I thought I needed to find the website that was right for me. Okay, um, you know, I don't, I'm not in it for a quick fix. I'm gonna find someone, fall in love with them, and spend the rest of my life with them. Ah, oh, I do it for myself, shall I? So, so anyway, I narrowed it down to three sites. Right, there was uh, Love Direct, Match.com. And fancy a shag, no questions asked. Dot com. <laughs> anyway, I went for Match.com because I couldn't get into fancy a shag, no questions asked at work. Uh, wasn't a try, I can tell you. Well, I'll we'll talk about that more tomorrow. But, uh, it's, it's, it's great though. It's great though. These, uh, these, uh, these internet sites are great though. Absolutely true story. But. Um, I, I was a bit worried about it though, getting into it, you know, because you do hear some stories, don't you? I didn't want, didn't want to end up like little Sarah in Coronation Street a few years ago. I don't know if anyone watches Coronation Street. Yes. But she basically thought she was meeting up with this sexy person her own age and actually turned out to be a man, a man in his mid 40s. You know, I didn't really want that. Well, not in the first six months anyway. I'll fucking take what I can get after that. <laughs> And anyway, you can search on age ranges, right? So you've got like 27 to 35 and stuff like that. But one of my mates has been doing it for a year or two now. And he's done well. He's met some nice girls and they've been on a few dates. Um, for some reason, he started going for women between the ages of 70 and 75. Right. And I, I couldn't understand this. I said to him, why are you doing this? You know, you're a good-looking guy. You met a few nice girls in there. Why are you going for women between the ages of 70 and 75? And uh, his reason for this is absolutely true, right? His reason was because he likes hearing stories about the Second World War. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, good luck to you. So anyway, so with, the, with the, this thing, right, you've got to decide if you want to, you know, one month, three months, six months, or a year. Anyway, I went for a year, because I thought I'd get my money for money, and at the end of the day there wasn't a fucking five-year option. So I, so I arranged my first date on there the other day, right, it was a girl called Angela, right, and her profile said that she was slender, attractive, and a bit dirty. I thought, this is alright, this is what I'm paying money for. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it, it, it turned out it, it, she was a fucking liar. Absolutely fucking liar. It was absolutely disastrous, right? And I just so, so, sat there the whole time, listening to her talking to me, not really taking in, thinking, how could anyone, no matter how desperate they were, consider sleeping with someone like that? But anyway, I'll keep going on now, I'll keep, I'll keep trying now. I looked on there, right, and they reckon on there that if you don't find love in the first six months, you can get a refund, right? And I thought, how do they define love? 
And I hope they know that you say, okay, you fall in love, we 